excited na ako. <laughs> Maglalagay tayo ng special ingredient mamaya. Ito na. Magkakaalam na. Meron akong surprise! Hey everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Michelle, Magical Wolf Folk. Maraming salamat for stopping by sa YouTube channel ko. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click like and subscribe para naman makita nyo ang aking weekly videos. For today, nag-decide ako na magluluto ako ng kadireta. Welcome back to Cooking with Mitch. I feel like I haven't really cooked in a long time here on my YouTube channel. And I remember na nagsimula ako, I was pregnant when I posted yung seriaki salmon, beef brisket bayan or something. So today, I just wanted to go back to the basics and really like share with you guys yung paborito kong dish. So now, magsimula na tayo magluto ng kadireta. So, ito na ang mga ingredients natin. Kailangan natin ng beef, lean beef for stew, cut in cubes, tomato paste, liver spread, green peas, frozen yung binili ko, pwede rin kayo yung canned, tomato sauce, onions, carrots, and bell pepper, butter, and then kailangan din natin ng vegetable stock or beef stock, whatever na gusto nyo, this is vegetable stock. And garlic. So, halika na, magsimula na tayo. Alright, so na, na mainit na ang pan natin, we're going to saute our beef. Kailangan medyo brown siya bago natin i-pressure cooker. So, I'll add a little bit of olive oil. Tapos, lalagyan natin siya ng konting butter. Nilagyan ko ng oil para hindi masyadong masunog yung butter, right? Kasi pag inunan mo yung butter, minsan sobrang burnt na yung taste, right? And we don't want that. So now, maglalagay tayo ng konting onion. Half of the onion that I cut. And then the rest, we will use it with the vegetables. Medium heat. And then, we're going to add our beef in a second. Pa brown lang natin siya. Since madami to, I will probably do it in two batches kasi syempre, para kailangan perfect yung browning niya. Mmm! It smells so good! Alright, now na translucent ng ating onions, we're gonna add some garlic. And now we're ready to brown our beef. We'll put half. Alright! We're also going to add salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to taste. Then we're adding haluin. Mmm, it smells so good, you guys. Lang natin ng perfect browning for our beef. Okay, so we're going to set aside the beef so we can cook the next batch. So nice browning. There's more flavor. Perfect. Same. Next batch. So we're going to put the rest back to the pan real quick. Now we are going to add our liver spread. Okay, a little bit of butter, liver spread, tomato paste as well. Para yung lasa niya, pag pressure cooker natin, is there. Alright. Medyo creamy ang ating liver spread. And then we're going to add our tomato sauce. And then we will transfer it to the pressure cooker. And then add the broth. Now let's add the tomato sauce. Just a little bit. Add a little bit. Lower your heat. Add your tomato sauce. Mix. There we go. Now, pwede na natin transfer sa pressure cooker. All right. So I transfer na natin to sa pressure cooker. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Oh my goodness. And then now, the broth. Awesome. Give it a little quick stir. We'll use this to scrape all the flavor. A 
Awesome. So now we're going to pressure cook it for 30 minutes. I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. Para covered. 30 minutes. Okay, so while we are currently waiting for the beef to get cooked in the pressure cooker, I will cut up the veggies and the sosha it parboil, you know, para naman malambot siya and it's not overcooked. I like to do it with my potatoes, with the carrots. So we're gonna do that right now. I am not putting potatoes dito sa calderet ko. I was thinking, because I have sweet potatoes, I was thinking of doing it para medyo matamis tamis, but we shall see. I have them sa king pantry Max. so we're just gonna cut these up I love cats so gusto ko talaga yung um what do you call this even with a fritada hindi talaga ako sa carrots kahit nung bata ka ah okay ano na Alright, bago natin ituloy ang pagluto ng kaldereta, this vlog is brought to you by Skillshare. Kung alam nyo naman guys, I've been with Skillshare. I've been using Skillshare for a few months now. Dahil marami talaga akong natututunan sa kanilang website. So ano ba ang Skillshare? Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together para naman mas ma-expand ang creativity and to share with other people like us. If you want to expand your passion, your creativity, if you want to learn more, this is for you. And I just want to share with you nga because right now I'm taking the class of Cat Coquillette. Hello! So I am doing social media training. This one is top tips for growing your followers and going viral. So alam naman natin lahat that I'm using social media as a tool. But when I was in the Philippines, iba yon, de ba? Pretty much grew my followers because I was an actress. But now that I've been living in America for five years, I've been trying to grow my US followers organically, authentically, and I want people to really relate with me. So here, with my new businesses, my online coaching, and my network marketing, and dami ko talaga natututunan dito. Like here, pros and cons, the perfect profile, the perfect post, get more followers, which I'm trying to attract. So if you guys are wondering if Skillshare is for you, yes, it is for you, for beginners. Especially like me, if marami kang gusto matutunan, you can find them on here and it can definitely fit within your schedule. It's not something that you have to do on a certain time. You can, you know, pretty much do this on your own time. If you have free 30 minutes a day, you may do so. And if you guys have been wanting to try, meron akong surprise! The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box, makakakuha ng free trial from Skillshare which is the premium membership. So if you've been wanting to try ko ano bang natututunan ko sa Skillshare, please click the link down below and try it out for yourself. Alright, now pwede na tayong bumalik sa ating cooking with Mitch. Caldereta time! Alright everyone, so tapos na ang caldereta sa pressure cooker. Now we're just going to sit the vegetables and then ilalagay na natin ulit yung caldereta and the sauce here sa pot and then we're just gonna let it simmer for about like 5 to 10 minutes on low. So now I added a little bit of olive oil. Lagay tayo ng konting butter. Ulit. Sarap talaga pag butter, di ba? And then the, the onion, the rest of the white onion. You can use red also. Wala lang ako red, that's why I'm using the white one. Mix it. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic. Busin na natin to. Definitely going to add, pag translucent na ulit yung onions, that's when we're going to add the green bell peppers. Some people like to mix green and red, but green lang tayo to do it. Bango! So we'll just let it saute for like two to three minutes. So while we're waiting for our vegetables, we can look at our caldereta. Na natin ang ating beef kung malambot na siya. Huh? It is right here. See? 
you guys, malambot na yung karne. Yummy. Awesome. Excited na ako. the rest of the vegetables you um pinar boil natin earlier carrots and also the green peas now we're going to add ang ating caldereta love the colors okay ready na tayo oh so na oh Perfect. And then, syempre, what we can do is taste. Maglalagay tayo ng special ingredient mamaya. Mmm, sarap. So, I would add a little bit of fish sauce. Konti lang. Eyeball, pepper. And then bay leaves. Two bay leaves should be good. Put that in Bay leaves, actually three. And then let it simmer for, I would say, 10 more minutes. And then ready na ang kaldereta natin after. We'll just cover it. Maglalagay tayo ng special ingredient. Max! 10 more minutes. Okay. Time to plate. Wow, sarap. Awesome. Okay. Alright, at ang ating special ingredient na special talaga is keso, o oh, ba? Kung gusto mo, para medyo creamy pa siya, konting keso on top. And ready to eat na ang ating caldereta. Yummy, yummy. Alright, I will try. And ito na, magkakaalam na. Mmm, tama ang anghang. Tignan natin kung malambot. Perfect. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys want more of Cooking with Mitch, let me know. May request kayo na gusto yung lutuin ko, put it down below in the comment section. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope gawin nyo tong recipe na to. And let me know. Tag me. I will see you guys next week. Mwah!